First, he put the moves on Cecilia Chong on the big screen. Next, he fought baddies alongside Jackie Chan. And now, he's turning on his charm to romance two beautiful actresses in Chinese drama, Feng Hua Xue Yue. Best known for his role in Korean melodrama Stairway to Heaven, Kwon Sang-woo has been making his presence felt in Chinese films this year. Does the Korean Hung intend to shift his acting career eastwards from the land of kimchi? And is that a good move? For one thing, the 36-year-old has Hong Kong superstar Jackie Chan backing him up.他想在亚洲发展 Kwon himself is no stranger to action. He made his debut as a student with a talent for martial arts and psychic powers in Volcano High. He also has other action movies under his belt, like Once Upon a Time in High School and Running Wild. Plus, it sure helps that he was credited with starting the Mom Jung movement in Korea. Mom Jung means great body in Korean. So is Jackie Grooming Kwon to be his successor? Tisong有没有就是想要在这部戏培养接班人呢? 不值得去做Kwon cemented his leading man status in Korea with my tutor friend and Stairway to Heaven nine years ago, but he failed to follow that up with other box office hits. He also hit a slum in his small screen career. He married fellow actress Son Tae Yong in 2008 and became a father the next year. Too bad his marital bliss didn't translate. By 2010, however, he had staged a successful comeback with Dae Moo, a popular TV drama about Korea's first female president, and scored a box office hit with war film 71 Into the Fire. He then set his sights overseas. He starred in the romantic comedy Shadows of Love with Cecilia Chong this May. He then played Jackie's sidekick in action flick Chinese Zodiac, who was on a quest to repatriate the sculpture heads of the 12 animals from the Chinese Zodiac taken from China in the Opium Wars. And he just finished filming his first Chinese TV drama, Feng Hua Xue Yue, as the romantic leading man. So how did he fare? Shadows of Love was a flop at the box office in both Hong Kong and China. We must say this didn't come as a surprise looking at Cecilia's track record. Since the divorce with Nicholas Zhu, Cecilia's big screen comebacks have been flops at the box office, and she has even been labelled box office poison by the Hong Kong media. It seems it would take more than Kwon to reverse the trend. Kwon did much better with his second foray into Chinese cinema. Chinese Zodiacs got a record-breaking 200 million yuan in China since opening last week, and reviews have been favourable. The question is, would anyone remember that he was in the movie? The trouble with being in the same film as Jackie is that there's no chance to shine. We can only hope that his upcoming drama will give Kwon the break that he's looking for. And we're glad that he's not giving up the Korean market just yet. Recently, he started work on a new Korean drama, Queen of Ambition, the sequel to Dae Moo. He plays a hopeless romantic willing to do anything for an ambitious woman set on becoming the first lady. 
On the bright side, Quan's attempts at cracking the Chinese market have brought him more exposure in Asia and around the world. But we certainly miss the good looker and his sculpted abs at the Singapore stop of the promo tour for Chinese Zodiac. Stay tuned to OK Pop for more on Kwon Sang-woo and his Chinese ambition.